Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast of the tech stocks for Monday, 5th of October uh, 2020. If you like to su support our channel, you're welcome to hit the support button here down in the corner and the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So Friday, we had a major shock, uh, shocking news that the most of or big part of the U.S. Um, government has basically uh, contracted the coronavirus or possibly has co contracted the uh, coronavirus. At this point, there are six uh, member of Donald Trump's inner circle, as I understand, uh, had that have contracted the virus, even the president and also the first lady. And uh, it is hopefully they all are having uh, are well and uh, will be well. Uh, but this, of course, was really negative news for the market as it was also expected. It was doing well, uh, but of course, news that the most powerful person in the world has caught a deadly disease is not encouraging for any market. Uh, whether or not this will affect next week's uh, trading session uh, and so on, it is also unlikely. We are basically in uncharted territory. Of course, it's not completely uncommon that the US presidents fall ill or get hurt or and so on. Uh, it is not common and therefore the uncertainty in the market will of course uh, be higher. Um, furthermore, there is just very little action when it comes to supporting this market now compared to the support of this market uh, when we were back in March and April, where both the Federal Reserve and the United States Congress were basically pumping money uh, out in thin air just to get basically just get the, the stock market and the U.S. economy uh, back on track. Uh, that momentum has stalled. Uh, the Fed, of course, is still trying to prop up this market, but historically, the Fed is not capable of, of sustaining a long-term growth in the United States economy. You need an action of government, uh, from the uh, stimulus from the United States Congress in order to uh, get the market back on track. Uh, if people want to check this, you can just go and watch any documentary uh, from, uh, from the financial crisis or the, the Great Depression, uh, and so on and so on. Uh, yes, if we get to it, we will look at these, uh, these big tech companies. So we'll start by looking at Netflix. And Netflix was basically booming before this news broke. Uh, it was set to go to these highs of 558 before it completely broke down. However, it did not break down as significantly uh, um, uh, as you could expect. We are still trading above the 50 moving average. And as long as that is the case, um, the 50 moving average will act as support. The technical indicators are have changed, of course, when you have uh, almost a 5% drop in your stock. And you will see the stochastic pointing downwards. You will see the uh, MACD basically curving to, to the downside. Um, but encouraging news on Monday or throughout the weekend can basically get this market back on track or the stock back on track, if I say. So this could basically just be a shock, uh, uh, shock reaction to the to the to the news of um, the president conducting, uh, the president um, receiving uh, treatment for coronavirus, and uh, therefore we could basically see a bounce from the 50 moving average. If we were to break down from here, then the 100 moving average at around 478 would be uh, supportive. Uh, to the upside, we would have to uh, test this 590. Uh, 99, uh, 29 level, sorry, and after that we'll go to these highs of 557. 
So there's just going to be a lot of uncertainty and there's going to be a lot of choppiness back and forwards and so on. And um, probably every single time a new person uh, is announced that they have also received, um, got the virus, uh, we will have negativity in this market as we did see on Friday. If we look at uh, Microsoft, Microsoft fell quite substantially on 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 the, on Friday's session, and um, this just looks much more negative compared to to Netflix. So Microsoft was doing really well. We were trading above the 50 moving average, uh, but we had broken down, we broken through the 50 moving average and these two other expansion exponential moving averages. And at this point, it looks like we are going to retest the 100 moving average again before we can basically say whether or not we are going to lower or whether or not we'll bounce from there. The technical indicators for Microsoft are fairly um, bearish at this point. The MACD is about to turn around, indicating bullish momentum. The, the RSI is also pointing towards downwards momentum, and the stochastic has basically uh, cross the signal line indicating bullish, uh, bearish momentum. Um, the, the Bollinger Band as well, we can pull this back up here. We can see that we hit the top of the Bollinger Band and now we're basically heading towards the lower part of the Bollinger Band. And if this is uh, usually is a very good indicator for where we will bottom. So around 200, which is also usually a very psychological number for, for any stocks, a round number, it would would be a quite uh, good guess where this market will technically go. So within this area here, I would expect this market, uh, this stock to bounce. If we break through this area here, then we'll have the 150 moving average and the 200 moving average even lower. But Microsoft is a very resilient stock. It takes a lot of really bad news in order for this stock to basically break down significantly. If you just look at the past two years, we can see that, of course, the, the beginning of the coronavirus, we broke all the way down to the 300 moving average. The last time we did that was all the way back in 2019. This was based now 2018, uh, where we broke through the down towards the 300 moving average as well. Since then, we have to go all the way back to 2016 before we tested the 300 moving average. So it's fairly unlikely that we'll, within only a matter of four uh, months, retest the 300 moving average uh, again. Uh, that should be fairly unlikely. To the upside, if we were to break through these uh, exponential moving average and the 50 moving average, then we'll go and test this high here of, of uh, 214. And after that, there is technically nothing in the way from us to going back to these all time highs of 232. If you look at Apple, Apple broke through uh, the 50 moving average, closed below the 50 moving average, and created a hammer. So this is not an encouraging sign for Apple stock. Um, it fell more than 3%, uh, gap down and broke, uh, bro and then uh, fell on a 3.23% and found the support at this uh, 40 exponential moving average, which also was previous support over here. At this point, I would not be surprised if we go lower. I expected... Apple to Apple stock to go all the way to the 100 moving average. We never got there, but this could be a sign that we'll get there now um, and then bounce from the 100 moving average. If that were the case, that would probably be a fantastic opportunity to enter this market. Uh, Apple is going to announce its newest phone within the next, uh, next week or two. And um, if this market could fall all the way down towards the 100 moving average, it will most certainly bounce uh, when they announce the new phone. If we look at the technical indicator, indicators, the MACD is uh, quite flat. 
the RSI is uh, is heading towards the downside. It's quite negative, and the stochastic is about to turn around, uh, indicating a bearish momentum. If we look at the uh, uh, Bollinger Band, the lower part of the Bollinger Band is around uh, hundred and six dollars. So we may not fall all the way down to $100, but at least $106 would be a good guess. If we were to bounce from here, then of course we have to break through the 50 moving average, and then we would go and test uh, this area here, which is proven to be a fairly resistant for Apple stock. That is between uh, $116 to $120. If you look at Amazon, Amazon fell quite drastically uh, on Friday. Um, and we broke through the 50 moving average, the two uh, exponential moving averages. And now we are about to, and we closed below them as well. And now we're about to head towards the 100 moving average, which is around $2,954. The technical indicators are all showing that we are about to basically turn around from here. This was the highest of this and will most likely go to the 100 moving average now. The MACD is still is above the signal line, but it is basically flat. The RSI is heading towards the downside, but the stochastic is crossing the signal line indicating bullish, a bearish momentum. We can see the Bollinger Band, the lower part of the Bollinger Band, which most likely will be target now, is exactly at the 200, 100 moving average uh, at uh, $2,936. So I would expect us to go all the way down here. That would coincide with the Bollinger Band um, and so on. So and yes, that is most likely what was, is going to happen. No interest in basically shorting this stock. This is not a stock or any of these stocks are stocks that should be shorting um, because these are the most wealthiest stocks in the world and they are not going to be bankrupt anytime soon. Even if we have another lockdown, these stocks will be the stocks that will be growing while everybody, uh, all their stocks were declining. If we were to break to the upside, then we have the 50 moving average as uh, re resistant. And then we also have an area here, similar to the Apple stock, of a few dollars between around uh, 3,210 uh, all the way to, uh, to 3,258, around 1.5%, which should be uh, resistant. If you look at Tesla, Tesla absolutely fell off a cliff, but... As I said on the last time I did this uh, this um, uh, video, this is behaving like Bitcoin when Bitcoin was extremely volatile. It's not that volatile anymore. Um, but Tesla is is a really really volatile stock. You can make a lot of money on on, on trading Tesla um, because volatility is high. The risk factor is is a high. Uh, as well and um, so if you get it right you can earn a lot of money on tesla if you get it wrong you can lose a lot of money so this is not a stock for the faint-hearted it's not a stock that you should jump into the trade if you are a, if you are a new trader uh, but there are things that you could look for for example the 50 moving average has proven to be really resistant um, the 20 exponential moving average has also pre proven to be uh, 40 exponential moving average. Sorry, has also proven to be a historical resistant. I'm saying resistant. I mean support. Sorry. And the same goes for the 20 exponential moving average, which we ran into support on Friday. We created this hammer, and at this point, we will most likely continue this wave pattern here down towards the 50 moving average. Um, this is a really, really popular stock. It's almost somebody, some investor called this a cult stock. Um, people will invest in this even though uh, the value of uh, Tesla just isn't there. Um, but they believe in this stock 
or and this company so much that they are basically willing to um, pump money into this market, even though the uncertainty uh, is extremely high. So at this point, I do expect us to go towards the 50 moving average. It is very unlikely that we'll break the 50 moving average. As you can see, we have not broken the 50 moving average since the beginning of March, where we also were extremely overbought. Uh, we fell down towards the 200 moving average, and ever since we have been on this uptrend. Um, fairly ridiculous, but you can choose to look at the fundamentals, or you can just trade. And if you trade this stock the way that the it has behaved, it has behaved, then you can earn a lot of money. If you trade fundamentals for Tesla you will most certainly lose all your money because the fundamentals are just not there yet. And that's probably what people are focused on. So a pullback to the 50 moving average is most likely a bounce. It's very unlikely we'll go lower than that. Uh, if we break, uh, if we bounce from here, we'll go to these highs of 448, then to 464, and after that to $503. If we uh, look at uh, Facebook, we can see that uh, that uh, Facebook broke down quite significantly. We tested the 100 moving average only a few days ago. We had a really nice run. We basically grow all around 10%, nearly 10%, 9.25% broke down. And now it looks like we're going back towards the 100 moving average. We created this uh, uh, hammer here underneath these moving averages, and this basically means that we'll go lower. If we were to break higher, then we have the highs here of uh, 268, and then we have this area here, which is quite, uh, should be quite resistant. We can basically make uh, this area here, should be quite resistant. So at this point, I do believe we basically hit uh, resistant here and we're going back towards the 100 moving average um, no interest in basically shorting this this is um this is a stock that especially at this point where um, where parties in the united states are pumping money into to ads that this company should be doing really well so if you look at google google also found resistant at uh, uh, 1500 level broke down and now we're most likely going back towards the 200 moving average. Um, the 200 moving average has been significant support and is very unlikely will break through that uh, support. If we, yeah, that is around uh, 1412 uh, level price level. Technical indicators are for, for Google are quite mixed. We have the uh, MACD basically flat, the RSI is heading downwards, the stochastic is heading downwards, and the Bollinger Band is uh, is also pointed to the level of 1400 level, which would coincide with the 200 moving average. I just don't see this market to go higher. There's just too much resistance in the top. So if you like this video, you're welcome to hit the support button, subscriber button, I mean. It is down here in the corner. Welcome to, uh, to click that in order to, uh, to support our channel and hit the like button and the bell button. Happy trading and good luck.